Hi, it's me again with Corona Oil Tips and Tricks. Somebody needing some help making a text effect like this. Really easy. A lot of things you can do with it. Uh, I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to move it out of the way just a little bit. And then I'm going to left click, right click. So I have a outline. I'm going to nudge it down. Now I'm going to take a two-point line at an angle. And this time I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch. I think I made it too thick last time. At this time, I could go ahead and make this a quarter of an inch in red, if you wanted red, and say, OK. Now we're going to take this line, and we're going to change our nudge factor to uh, remember the 18 inches because we need to put it back uh, to 0.5. And we're going to con control D and make a duplicate and nudge that over 0.5. So what we're doing is we're just making a bunch of lines. Now to make this work, uh, control G to group it. Now this is one case where power clip might be a better way to do it than intersect. But I'm going to go ahead and intersect it, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the, we're not quite there, I'm going to stretch that out. I'm going to intersect this. Now, when it does that, whoop, I need to change it back to 18 inches. When it does do that, well, it worked perfectly that time. Sometimes it'll change its colors. Now, remember, we got 18-inch nudge, so now we can just nudge that back up. Tell you what, we could group that together, control G, nudge that back up and go to object order back a page. And I like it better than the thick lines I did earlier. And you could still, you know, you could still move this around and get your different look, you know, maybe more or less. Because uh, it's just on the front of the page. And it doesn't matter. And this is maybe where you could set your nudge factor on 0.25 and grab that black and you could nudge it just ever so much and just kind of see the the effect you want hope that answers their question and thank you for watching